And this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Teeny Como, going to do one cast. Today is the 24th, Wednesday, 24th of July. And I boated all the way up here to the dam this evening. They're running probably about two units. They've dropped it quite a bit here just lately. And I'm going to try to throw something I had on yesterday. It's a Sculpin and Ginger 16th ounce jig, two pound line. And I'm putting my trolling motor on two and a half or so. Point it upstream, slow me down. I hadn't been up here in a long time. I know there's a tree right over there, so I'm going to get out toward the middle a little bit more. I would think fishing up here has been really good. I just hadn't been up here. Real nice day today. Again, got a little warm, but not too bad. And I got a fish. He hit that hard. I'll loosen my drag a little. He's not, he's a nice one, he's not real big. Oh, uh, someone, yeah. I saw someone take my net out of the boat and use it on the dock today and I forgot to pick it up, so I don't have a net tonight. Pretty rainbow, fatter, got a big old belly on him. I have another rod here with a 32nd ounce black on that I'm gonna throw here in a little bit too. I wasn't real sure. Ah, missed him. I knew they were gonna drop the water. I, Thought it was going to be dropped a little more than it is. Ooh, I do got him. Maybe I will use the black. Well, today we did something we hadn't done in a long time. There's a oh, cool. What's he trying to do? I've got a pretty small rainbow and a medium sized rainbow just came up and just tagged him. I don't know if he was hitting him or hitting the, trying to take the bait away from him. We took one of our pontoons. We were gonna go up on Table Rock. I pulled a pontoon out, actually. Nice one rose over there. We're gonna go to Table Rock, take the grandkids uh, tubing. And uh, I went over 86 Bridge over Long Creek yesterday on Table Rock, and I counted at least 30 or 40 boats. And they were running every which way, and some of them were pulling tubes, and some of them were just cruising, and I really didn't want to go fight the traffic. I can go to Strip and do that. Strip and Branson, 76. So, we jumped in one of our, God, I missed him. We jumped in a pontoon and 
we uh, missed another one. We ran down the lower lake. Now I've got a, we have four grandkids from three to 10. And uh, our water's about 50 up here. And they've been running it, you know, every day. And we got down to Rockaway. And I told them to stick their foot in the lake and they said it was too cold. So we went on down. We got around the corner a little ways, about four or five, four miles downstream. And uh, told them to stick their foot in water again. Still too cold. And that's about the time we ran into some other boats that were pulling kids on tubes. And it was from Canicook. The, the K-1, the, the camp there in, in Branson on Lake Tanny Como. They were down pulling kids on tubes, and I said, well, it's not too cold for those kids. Well, so we went on down, and we ended up um, all the way down to uh, Parasite, the very lower end of the lake. And uh, we tubed down there, the kids did. Uh, had a really good time. It was still pretty chilly. But they uh, endured it. Ended up pulling them, uh, pulling them back up almost to rock away in the tube in that cold water. They said it was too cold. They got used to it. But anyhow, I did take uh, actually these rods and um, there you go, almost to the island. They're coming up and sipping something off the surface. A few of them are. There's another one out there. Hmm. Well, anyhow, down it, on the way down, I saw quite a few trout coming up and surfacing, midging. I saw them um, at the landing, I saw them down below the landing, at the gold mine, if you know where that is. I saw them, I think they call it the cornfield, that, that flat area there, just down, no, up Lake, missed him in that one up lake from the mouth of Bull Creek or, or up from Rockaway. And um, saw fish midging all the way down to Parasite, but down at Parasite, down at Ozark Beach, there was a ton of fish down there midging. Anyhow, I, I threw that little black 32nd ounce jig, two pound line, and those fish were all over it. Um, had the kids catch some fish. I mean, I, it was a bite every cast down in front of um, the boat ramp there at Ozark Beach, within sight of Parasite. And um, I stopped at the cornfields. I think that's called the cornfields. Oh, I missed another one. I'm not paying attention. I'm gonna throw that little black jig here next time. And um, yeah, I was a fish on every cast, but they were uh, they were stalkers, small rainbows, no color. They were almost bleached out. Yeah, let's throw that black jig. Oh, this is a black 32nd ounce. It's 
So that was a lot of fun. I'm sure you could catch them on a jig and float on a spoon because they were chasing every time I'd reel a, a jig in. They were right behind it. Rooster tail, something like that. Um, well, they might not be on this black one. Saw fish at, at the landing um, surfacing, talked to Tony Wheatley, one of our guides, and he said that uh, his clients were throwing jigs and pretty much wore out the stalkers down in that area too today. He said he was coming up here to throw a jig later. I don't know how he did. Yeah, they've really slowed that water down even since I've gotten up here. I think it's going down to the that half unit that they're running overnight and in the mornings. I'm surprised they're not really on this black jig. Dwayne said he had a trip today, fly fishing. He said um, they drifted a scud up here. Um, said it was a little slow for them. They ended up finishing out of the trophy area below Fall Creek. Um, fishing the pink worm under a float, so they did really good. They are not chasing this jig at all. I'm down here in pretty shallow water now, about three feet. So I don't have to let it drop. They're still jumping and taking stuff off the top. There he, oh, I missed him. Ooh. Oh, uh, he is a little better fish. Now they're hitting it. I got down here in that shallow water. I can miss them with this little black jig just as good as I can miss it with that sculpin and ginger. For uh, you guys that are living around this area, Branson, even Springfield, there is a fly expo, fly fishing expo, Friday and Saturday at the Lions Club from nine to five. Admission is free. Um, we will be there. There he is. We will be there, uh, Dwayne, Monashery, and I on Friday, tying jigs. Along with, I think, gosh, I think there's like 50 other tire, fly tires coming in from all over the area. And there's some other uh, people that are, will have booze there, um, fishing related, outdoor related merchandise and then they'll have uh, um, 
they have raffles and auctions and you know if you've ever been anything any of these things if you want to pick up some really inexpensive stuff really nice stuff um, we're donating some things and a lot of other people are donating some nice things and uh, that stuff usually goes really cheap so this is a nice rainbow gave me a really nice fight Cut him right in the corner of the mouth should be easy to easy to break off golly okay I'll go back to the sculpin sculpin and ginger I thought I had him unhooked Man, I should have my fly rod. Although, I'm, look at that. I'm not sure what I'd use, but I'd have fun trying. Okay, I'm dropping off the flat. I'm in a little deeper water now. I could come up here and do this every evening. Probably catch a ton of fish, but I really do like trying different parts of the of the lake. Because I know a lot of people won't come up here just because it's shallow and they don't want to mess up their boats. Gonna have a little fog tonight. A little surprised. I didn't think it was that humid, but so I'm not gonna fish too much longer because I wanna <laughs> I wanna go home and get my fly rod, come back up here. No, I don't wanna run back all the way in the fog. My bail slapped shut again. And it broke my jig off. Golly. I guess that's my cue to head home. <sighs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I really wanted to fish a little more. This is great. But, go home.